we had Lena Khan on 60 Minutes, which was great. And I can assure you, this was not the, um, the Harris campaign did not set this up. The, um, the right wingers and conservative Democrats who want Lena Khan gone did not set this up. This is a way a very smart politician slash bureaucrat operates within a political system to make it difficult for them to get uh, fired, frankly. Um, this is, I mean, I don't know if people remember like the saga, like the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and Elizabeth Warren setting this up. This was now 15 years ago, maybe more, uh, where Warren was able to work the inside game in such a way that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was set up so that it was in many ways inoculated from Congress and inoculated from a uh, presidency that might have hostility towards an agency <laughs> that is protecting consumers. Uh, Lena Khan went on uh, 60 Minutes last night and just even walking through like the idea of asthma inhalers, we can't play any of it because uh, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll ding us. But we could read some of the transcript, but um, Leslie Stahl interviewed her and asked her about why it is that the cost of inhalers in France for asthma is seven dollars and the same inhaler cost five hundred dollars in the united states and what khan uh, told her was that companies were creating patents to keep asthma inhalers from being sold as generic they were creating patents around the inhaler that had nothing to do with the medicine barely anything to do with the delivery like for instance, this is the cap on an inhaler and they developed a piece of plastic that goes from the tip of the cap, I mean, tip of the uh, inhaler to the cap so that when you take the inhaler off like this, it dangles. So you don't lose the cap. So you don't lose the cap, which incidentally, I mean, I'm not bragging, but I did this for toothpaste uh, tubes uh, when I was like 10 my parents wouldn't go and get me a patent on that. And then the rest is history. I'm having to, I'm here. But the point being that because of that patent, that has nothing to do with the medication, inhalers cost a hundred times, 80 times, 70 times, 60 times more than they would in Europe. And it is the FTC that goes after these people uh, and says, hey, well, we realize what you're doing. And uh, Stahl said, after the FTC sent warnings, three of these companies dropped prices. Just the fear of the FTC is um, inhibiting mergers that would hurt uh, citizens and consumers, um, price gouging, all of it. And it's good. It's going to make her harder for Harris to get rid of her. Um, but this is a fight. And, you know, when people engage in a fight like over the chair of the FTC, it resonates because usually people don't know who the FTC chair is. No. More people weigh in on this stuff. It helps. And it actually drives home the difference in the two parties, even when you are critical of, say, the part of the Democrats who might want to remove Lena Khan. Like, I think this actually focuses people. It doesn't discourage them. Yeah, I mean, the constituencies involved in supporting Lena Khan, I can assure you, the vast majority of them are going to be voting for Kamala Harris. It's the same within the context of what's going on uh, with Israel Gaza. Yeah. Donald Trump can call Chuck Schumer, a Palestinian, as some type of slur, because there is no one who is voting for, for Donald Trump who has any issue with any part of that. Harris cannot get away with saying that. She has to, at the very least, provide lip service 
because of the constituencies that are voting for her. And if they lose patience, she pays a price in terms of political power. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.